This one was $20. This was free. Most of the clothes you see, yes, I do own a lot of things. It looks contradictory. Well, like, yeah, you're broke. Why do you own so many things? Most of this was free or less than $10. In Mika Porni's world, everything has a price. But what she values most is her time. It's like there is a nagging thought like, man, I work at a bank. Why am I doing deliveries at 1 a.m.? But I don't know. When you get used to it, you get used to it. Porni's primary job is all about money. She works at a bank before heading off to her second job in retail. Every day, every hour is carefully accounted for. And that's because her work doesn't end there. I'll buy this, I'll buy that, I'll resell, I'll go to Value Village, I'll get stuff for cheap, sell it for a little, for cheap for other people. In her downtime, Pourney's still clocking in, delivering food for DoorDash and Instacart, or reselling clothing and home decor online. It's exhausting, and it takes a toll, but she can't stop. Every day I had panic attacks, every day. Best way to explain it is in my head, it's like me screaming. I don't, I'm not even thinking, it's just me screaming. A professor at Dalhousie University says the idea of hustle culture dates back centuries. It's relentless and unsustainable. This notion that like hard work in itself is a virtue. So, um, you know, work is good, even if it's um, a grind, even if it's wearing you down. Any version of that idea, the hustle culture, it's, it's um, harmful. I don't think it works for people. Um, I do think it works for employers. E-commerce and app-based gigs mean people like Purni can now work around the clock, leaving little time for anything else. If I go downtown and I spend $30, just like that, I'm, I'm just like, well, crap, I don't have money. Sometimes I need to spend that money. Sometimes I need to, you know, I need to kind of enjoy myself. But then the life's, guilt. Life's not just all about the hustle. Exactly, but the guilt afterwards. Bree Sofer knows the feeling. He's worked on the apps for eight years. I think, you know, in this culture and in this time, we tend to feel guilt if we're not earning, if we're not productive. Sofer says gig work offers the promise of flexibility, quick extra cash without real commitment. But that freedom comes with a cost. That also doesn't guarantee that these apps will offer you a rate of pay that allows you to earn a living wage. Uh, what happens uh, to a lot of workers that uh, do this part-time or even full-time is they end up working longer and longer hours. This lifestyle, the constant hustle, makes big promises, ones it doesn't necessarily deliver on. And for Porni, Sofer, and people like them, it comes at a steep price their time. Malone Mullen, CBC News, St. John's.